All right, guys, what's up? We're gonna do another five minute or less review on today. We're gonna do GTA 5 for the PS4. I obviously have a Xbox 360 Collector's Edition here, but I wanted to show it off because I'm a little bitch. All right, let's get down to the basics. Story mode. You got three protagonists this time. Trevor, Michael, a black guy. What, what's his name? Um, Franklin. Franklin, that's right, Franklin. The story mode I would say overall is about pretty much total carnage in Los Santos. I mean, it's 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 on the same scale as San Andreas so far as doing a lot of crazy shit. Um, I didn't really follow the characters too much other than Trevor because I felt like I didn't like their story as much. Michael just reminded me of Max Payne if you ever played that game. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's all the same story. Like all three of them. Okay, like you start off with Franklin. No, you don't. You start off with Michael. No, yeah, you start with Franklin. No, no, no. I think so, dude. Oh no, you start with Michael. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, because remember with when he was with Trevor. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's right. You start with Michael and Trevor in the beginning. Now the prologue is back to the thing. Basically, it lays like a foundation. You got Michael and you got Trevor. They used to be like close together and they like have some background. Then you got Franklin and he comes out later and that's what you play as after. Yeah, and he's the typical black guy. First mission you do is steal a car. Michael dies. And then he doesn't No, Michael doesn't die, but he's, he plays dead and Trevor thinks he's dead. And that's what leads us to the story of Trevor finding him. Michael ends up being friends with Franklin. It's a big, it's a big clusterfuck of random shit. It's pretty good. I would say play it if you enjoy fucking causing carnage. A lot of bullshit. There's boobs and all that crap too. It's, it's Rockstar stuff. You know, it's GTA. Come on. The multiplayer, and I feel like it's more of a cash grab than a game overall. I mean, they, they charge you for these loan shark cards or whatever they're called. I paid over like 140 bucks just to buy a car number one time. It's up to you if you want to play that. I don't prefer those games. I'm a, I'm a single player guy myself. I like playing solo, solo. What, what did you think of multiplayer? Yeah, it was like, it was kind of like, 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 you start, and it's pretty fun, and then you realize, like, how creative, and it's like, you feel people, but then once you realize how good you're, like, how good you're, like, it's the same shit. It is the same shit. You, you can still, you can rob convenience stores this time, and you can, uh, you can drink beer, you can smoke cigarettes on the street, blah, 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 but, you gotta remember, each of those things cost money too, so you gotta go steal for that shit. It is real grindy, he's not kidding. The gameplay is pretty mediocre compared to single player. There is more you can do in single player. You can play as Bigfoot, all these animals too. I think that's only in the PS4 edition right here. But, I mean, it, it's pretty fun for a single player, open world, third person, first person now, video game. I, I would recommend it for PS4 if you haven't picked it up already. Um, the specs on it are pretty good. It runs 1080p on my, on my TV. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I don't think it runs 60 frames per second. I highly doubt that it runs that on the PS4. I'm thinking 30. If that, maybe a little higher, but I think 30 frames per second. But if I had to rate it, my rating is going to be, I'm probably going to give it out of 10. 8.5, 8.5, I feel generous. It's not a 9 out of 10 game. I played better third person open world games out there. But it is definitely 8.5 for me. Wait, what do you think? What, 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 do you, what would you rate it? What would you rate it? I rated it an 8.5 out of 10. Out of all my open world third person games, what do you think? 8 out of 10. That's our single player now. What do you think about multiplayer? I'm going to rate that 5. I really don't like that. You think it's a 5 also? Alright, well multiplayer is going to be a 5. So, that's, that's pretty much it for this review. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please subscribe.